Hey guys, it's Mary the Daydream Stitcher. Um, I wanted to do this quick, fun little video with my favorite designs coming out for Nashville Needlework Market 2022. Today is February the 20th and the Needlework Market is in two weeks, March 4 through the 6th. And I've been looking at the new designs coming out and I just wanted to share with you guys some of my favorites. This is by no means complete. Um, there are many more designs, many more designers that I'm not including here just because maybe they're not my style or it's just one I wouldn't stitch, but there's lots of fun, beautiful designs as always. So I highly recommend that you do look at the full lineup if you're interested. But this is just kind of my picks for this year and I hope to stitch at least a few of these. So it's about six o'clock in the evening and I realize that the light is rapidly changing. I've been trying to get the right lighting because I decided to try this outdoors um, because my house it just got, there's too much noise. However, there's a lot of noise out here too. So hopefully I can um, tuck in in between the airplanes and the trains and the various things going on nearby. So the lighting will probably be changing, but that's not hopefully important for this video because I have no stitching to show. I'm going to put up the pictures up here and hopefully enable several of you um, to get some of these patterns into your stash. If you like any of these designs that I have to show and want to get them in your stash, um, most of them are available for pre-order from your favorite local needle workshop or many of the online retailers who are attending the show. If not, never fear, um, they will mostly be available after the show as well from wherever it is that you like to get your charts from. There are a couple of limited editions um, that are limited, well, obviously, to that weekend. But for the most part, these should go into the general release. So I'm going to start with Little Stitch Girl. Um, Little Stitch Girl has a number of really cute designs she's offering this year. I haven't actually stitched any of her designs yet, but I do have at least one or two in my stash that I'd like to get to that I think are Halloween themed. This year she's offering a number of them and I want to um, show you my favorites from her line. Um, she has this sampling of summer that is so sweet and cheerful and happy and I just love it. I'm not sure if she has the other seasons out. I should have researched that. I'll have to look into that. Um, but I love this and it really stood out to me I popped out and I um, I would really this is one I would like to stitch summer patterns don't generally call to me as much as the fall and winter patterns but um, I thought this one was really cheerful and lovely and I love the sky and the trees and the little picnic basket with them I think those are ant look at this one she also has this lovely Christmas pattern called the gift of giving and it's about how giving is really the best gift and it has this wonderful little verse and I just love that. My middle kiddo who's 12 now ever since he's been little that's always been his favorite thing you know to give. Um, even when he was tiny he would much rather wrap a present and present it to someone even than to get it himself and at Christmas time the real joy for him was watching other people open their presents. He is so sweet. And so that reminds me of him and the importance of giving and the whole point of really Christmas is the giving of the gifts to from another <clears throat> to another and not so much the getting. Now the gift of giving also has another pattern that she's releasing called Too Frosty and these are cute little um, gift tags. Um, with Frosty and then a character from Frosty, I guess, the elf, Rudolph, and Santa. And I thought those were really adorable as well for Christmas. The Primitive Hair has a couple that I really liked. Um, this one is Cross Stitch Collector. And I've seen the price wildly different um, on a couple different sites for pre-order. From what I can tell, it is a limited edition, only available um, at that, for that weekend um, of the market and apparently it's a kit that comes with the board the linen everything and so it's actually a pretty good deal if you want to get it all I thought that was great because so many of us myself definitely included um, you know a large part of this hobby is collecting the supplies and the patterns and all the fabric and things to go with them 
and not just the actual craft of stitching them but the collecting is a big part of it so I don't know whether the chart itself then will be released separately afterwards um, being that it could be that the kit is just the limited edition but I'm not sure on that again that's the primitive hair she also has a new historical I guess sampler out as part of her his historical series she has a couple of these out um, Harriet Tub Tubman for one um, this year she's releasing Anne Frank and I think this is just great. I would love to do these. Um, somebody needs to tell that rooster that it's sunset and it's not sunrise. You just go in and go in. Not mine, it's a neighbor, but still. Um, yeah, so the primitive hair, and then she's also releasing three more of the woodland spirits of the woods, the woodland animals, the bear, the eagle, and the raccoon. And I really like these. I think they're great, especially the raccoon and the bear. Um, I really like those. One of the first um, designs that came out um, this year that was released to the public as a preview was Sue Hillis um, design called North Pole Chamber of Commerce and I thought this was really fun. Um, we have probably quite a few you know Santa Village and, and gingerbread houses and things like that but we do um, I thought that this was unique and different from the other things that we've seen before because we have the snow removal service, we have Mrs. Claus um, doing sewing and quilting with Santa's suit and the elf suit hanging up, and we have, of course, the sweet shop, um, the toy emporium, and then the reindeer flying academy, and I, I thought it was really neat. Um, apparently it's released in four separate charts, um, and you can do it all as one, or you can do them separately and hang them side by side or just do part of it. Um, so I love that. I love Sue Hillis designs. I did her, um, last year I did the Krabby, it's a Krabby day without a stitch to cross. And I loved that. It was fun and happy and quick. And um, I would love to do more of her designs. I have a couple in my stash. Incidentally, it was just her birthday the other day. So happy birthday, Sue Hillis. I, am, I wished her happy birthday on Facebook and um, she liked it and so you know those are who our people are right that we look up to and that's I think it's so cool that we can connect with some of them on social media. It's one a parliament of owls is that adorable? I love it. This is a Catholic Barrick, Kathy Barrick design um, where she did like group collective nouns of different animals and then she put it into a cute cross stitch picture and so I thought this was adorable. I love owls. I love um, this picture of, you know, the Parliament of Owls. And then she did a party of peacocks. So they're having a party with the cake and everything. And I love the colors and the plumes in this one. Um, and then I believe that her daughter, Hello from Liz Matthews, also designed some to go along with this series as well. I know that she did a parade of elephants, um, among others. Summer House Stitch Works. I thought this one, the Spring Awakens pattern was cool, neat and refreshing, different. Um, I like the different colors like in a row um, and how it goes drastically from one to the other. Um, that I thought that was kind of a different take on the traditional sampler that we don't often see the colors in that way. So that was that's unique for me. This Delft Blue Pottery piece. I love. I love the blues in this and the design here. Um, I thought that was a sweet little piece as well. And then this one, Lady Catherine Kitty. Hello and goodbye series. There's also a puppy. Off the top of my head I want to say it's Percival puppy but something like that is adorable. Sir Percival or something like that um, with the front and the back and I just loved these. Um, particularly because I love when my cats put their tail up in greeting and then you know you see them like tottering away from the back and it's the sweetest thing ever I just adore it so um, that one really like is precious and it would make a great kind of I don't know like anything two-sided it's small and quick and um, I don't know the measurements if it would work as like a scissor case or a needle case maybe but I thought that was adorable hello and goodbye um, so that you have the the back and the front and like that Jeanette Douglas this year has some patterns that I I really like um, this one called vintage acorns it 
I just I really like the colors in it and I love the acorn theme and how they're in varying sizes and then the border coordinating I don't know that I would necessarily personally stitch the alphabet in it but I think I would love to do something with the acorn motifs um, even if it's just the the border or the leaves and the acorn type thing um, I think it's really really neat and um, and very you know perfect for fall although here we get our acorns a lot in the I guess the spring here in Florida does that make sense and I can't remember I'm questioning it the time of year we get acorns on everything like it covers everything I don't think it's fall though here but but acorns tend to be um, associated with fall don't they and squirrels like no, but everything's backwards in Florida anyway, so never mind. Jeanette Douglas has this one, Matter in Hand, and this is one of the, the ones that I've already gone ahead and ordered, actually, um, with the cross-stitch in different languages, with cross-stitch in the various languages, which is what sold me on it. And I love the little skein of floss and the scissors. Um, I just think it's sweet, the bobbin. Um, and I love the idea of putting the word cross-stitch in various languages because you know it's worldwide and we've all probably connected with new friends uh, overseas in other countries and I just I love that and the connecting um, the connecting theme of that and the global appeal and how it's kind of a universal hobby and interest. Plum Street Samplers has a number of charts that I really like this year some of these, the Jeanette Douglas, the Plum Street Samplers, and others like them, are not my usual style. If you've been with me for a little, even a little while, you'll know that it's not typically what I stitch. But um, this year, they're really appealing to me, and I, I look forward to stitching more of this type, um, some of the more primitive look. This one especially, this is the day um, that the Lord had made. Rejoice and be glad in it. And I love, first of all, can I just, can we talk about this brick house? I love to stitch houses. I love houses in general. Um, and this brick house is everything. I love the brick house. I could just stitch the brick house, okay, guys? But um, the verse as well, uh, it's just, I need it right now, right? And um, just a reminder to be thankful for the time that we're given and the beautiful day that we're given, whatever may be going on um, in our lives, you know, like we're awake another day and um, and just to be grateful. And now I'll get off of my little soapbox or whatever. <laughs> you don't need to hear that from me, but um, yeah, I think we can all appreciate that type of sentiment. And likewise, Plum Street also is coming out with this other house that's adorable um, with the two chimneys. I just love it um, in the bowl on top. I mean, only in cross-stitch patterns, right? Is there a bowl of fruit with a bird sitting on top, on top of a house? I think that's a bowl of fruit. I could be wrong, but it looks like a colander with food in it. I don't know. Um, and it's Adorn Your Heart is the name of the pattern. And again, it talks about um, filling up your mind with positive, sweet things and good things. So um, that's, those are the kind of things that I really need to hang on my wall as, as reminders. All right, Kathy at Hands-On Design. She knocks it out of the park, like every, multiple times a year, uh, she blows me away. And in a, you know, in a good way, and it's cutesy stuff, like, but it's like, how does she keep coming up with this stuff? That's really true of, of all the designers, honestly, you know, like, how did they keep coming up with this great stuff? It's amazing to me. So, um, Hands-On Designs has this resting stitch face. Now, if you, I love it, and this is another one that I pre-ordered. If you saw last year, she had resting beach face, which is great. And I got to do that one, too. I don't, I haven't done that one yet, but they would, this would make a great companion piece. Um, this whole idea of the RBF. Uh, which I have I totally can relate to that I totally have that so um, and then you know the beach like I live near the beach whatever so this is a great companion resting stitch face and it, we've got our light and our glasses and our scissors and our needle and we're ready to stitch right so I think that's just adorable she also put out 
a season two of a year of celebration continues. Um, some of you may know that she has done a year of celebration before with a, a different little pattern for each month of the year and this is her second installment. Um, actually season two, the one I'm looking at right now is um, only showing part of the year but I'll find the whole year. I know that it has um, the whole year. So I believe they're just different designs that she came up with for um, the, the different months. And so I love those. And I love that they're so small and ideally quick. And then they're great for putting up, you know, for the month and in various ways of finishing. Our fellow frost floss tuber, Brittany, at Ingleside Imaginarium. If you all don't know Brittany at Ingleside Imaginarium. Now I have to check. I'll put down here her floss tube channel because um, I believe she's changed it. Uh, it used to be called something else. But she has been on floss tube for a number of years and she is awesome and sweet as can be and you gotta see her. She did a wonderful video a few years ago where she parodied um, happy, what is it, happy little there's a song from a movie um, that parodies fairy tale, like Disney fairy tale movies, right? Happy Little Something Song. And so she rewrote the lyrics to Happy Little Stitching Song, and I'll post the link below um, if you haven't seen it. It's a few years old, and if you've missed it, I highly recommend you go watch it. It's adorable, and she's adorable. And um, she is a um, stage performer. So she like, you know, she checks all the boxes and, and she's great. So she's one of our musical boss two people. So she's been designing for a few years and has offered her patterns through other um, avenues. And I believe this is her first year at market. So I'm really excited for her. Um, I love this water dragon. She d tends to do a lot of dragons. Um, she's done some gargoyles and some Greek, Grecian type patterns in the past, some stitch alongs. Um, so this water dragon, I love the colors in this guy. And I thought this fish and frogs was really cute as well. Um, and it's his market exclusive. So I don't know if that's just, it comes with a pin. So I don't know if the pin is just the exclusive. I'm guessing the chart will be available, but I don't know for sure. So that might be something if you like that to check into. Um, it looks like she's finished it as a drum, which is adorable. I thought this pattern called Sending You Love from Nitka Designs or Nitka, and, um, is great because it's so unique, it's so different, those little elves or whatever they are, <laughs> um, with the hearts and the thread and the goodies, I think they're mixing up a batch of something, um, if I'm looking at that right, and chocolates, and um, it's so different, I love the uniqueness of it. Pickle Barrel Designs always has some cute word type wordplay things and I really like this one um, that says coffee doesn't ask silly questions coffee understands um, and so some of us can definitely relate to that um, and I would probably do this in a different color scheme myself um, but I think that it's really I really like it I love it and I think those little coffee cups are adorable blackbird designs one of their offerings this year is love what remains is love and I really like this again, not typically my style, but this one really spoke to me. Um, reminds me of the, you know, the quote, the um, things that matter being hope, faith, and love, but the greatest of these is love. Um, that comes from the New Testament and Jesus tells his disciples. So um, what remains is love. So I really like that and I like the colors in that one. I really like the colors. My girl Stephanie at Lindy Stitches is uh, releasing a collaboration with the Blue Flower and um, they are offering up Spring Forest scrapbook. They also did a sea, deep sea scrapbook or saltwater scrapbook I think it was called last year um, and this is their new offering and so it can be stitched all together in one piece or you can do it in separate parts. Um, each one did half of that design. There's a new designer called Dirty Annie's Southern Style that I'm not familiar with. I've never heard of before, but she has some really cute stuff out this year. And one of those is this little um, small that says cat hair don't care, right? It's everywhere. 
so it's not picky it'll it'll stick to anything <laughs> so i thought that was cute erica michaels is offering this small called stitch all the things this one is one that i really need to get and make into a pillow for my craft area my craft room i really love it and i love the way that they finished it on the cover photo speaking of coffee RETM also is releasing a new coffee design that says, I think it's part of a series, Coffee Definitions Eternity. And this one says Eternity, time it takes coffee to brew in the morning. Again, so true. You know, it's like nothing takes longer when you're waiting for that first cup of coffee. So um, I would love that one too to hang in my kitchen. Heart in Hand is offering up seasonal etchings and the season drum so i think that it's more than one pattern but um i loved this i thought that this was cool for each season and i love the look of this artwork um the fishes remind me of another pattern i don't know if it's exactly the same pattern that they had um but they my friend stephanie at little lion stitchery she stitched um, some fishes, some herring or something that looked very similar to that. And I, I really like that. And I love the spring, autumn, and the winter as well. And that's, this is definitely one that I will be getting. Someone's staring at me out the door and I thought it was one of my kids and I looked and it's my dog. <laughs> he's been going in and out and like, you know, he wants to be out and in and he's never happy called Life Begins With Coffee from New York Dreamer. Again, I think they're new to market. I'm not familiar with them. And I thought that was a really cute way to finish it. Um, new York Dreamer also has this adorable bloom where you are planted, which again is a wonderful like saying, right? To hang up, um, we see it a lot, but I, I really liked the beehive with this and the bees buzzing around. Speaking of bees, so prim rose cottage stitches who by the way is a designer that has really been catching my eye in the in the last year i'm not sure how new they are but they are one of those designers again that everything they come out with speaks to me and i'm they are really good at word art and i love them and so i need i need to get them in my life um, i haven't i don't think i have any of theirs yet but um they have this hive rules which i love it's all bee themed hive themed I see the lighting from my phone because it's getting dark out now. So I don't know. Is that like weird? Ooh. <laughs> um, so the hive rules, which I think is awesome. I love the look of it. I love the color scheme. I love the, the fonts that they use. Um, I love everything about it. And how about that board it's on? Oh my gosh, that's awesome. I wonder if I could find like something like that. I also love this chart, be nice or buzz off. I want to do this one and make a pillow of it or put it on the wall and anytime somebody's not being nice, just point to it and be like, be nice or buzz off. <laughs> I have another one um, I got from last market from Monticello's Ditches that says, be nice or leave. And I really want, I keep meaning to get that one started so that I can just put it up and be like, you know, be nice or you can leave. Um, anyway, speaking of word art, the Primrose Cottage also has this Toil and Trouble for Halloween, which I can't get enough Halloween patterns and I can't get enough like word Halloween. I mean, you know, and this summertime, again, I'm not usually drawn to summertime patterns too much, but this one is so bright and happy and fun that I love it. And I would totally stitch this one as well. Also from Primrose Cottage Stitches. Um, I think it's awesome. So their word art is definitely their thing. She also has these adorable little charts that say market exclusive. So again, I don't know if they're only available to purchase at market and not after, um, but it's uh, this raccoon that says, feed me and tell me I'm pretty. How cute is that? I love that one. And this perfect kitten with the big rosy pink cheeks, just so sweet and cute. I just love them. Um, Pickle Barrel Designs also has this berries summer berries the fresh strawberries and fresh blueberries that are adorable companion pieces and i love them and i i think it's awesome how they were finished with the fabrics like that is it fabric or cardstock frames anyway um i think those are awesome 
Now check out this one, you guys. Is this not the cutest thing ever? This is from Silver Creek Samplers. And it's called Fred's Unifying Question. Will you be my neighbor? <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't get over how precious. Oh my goodness. I the, just, you know, it's not just the pictures and the designs, but the wittiness that goes into some of these. Um, just we have, I, I don't know, I, I'm, I just love it. I love the wit and the humor. They also have this fly by night, dusk to dawn fly by night aviation institute um, that I would love to have for Halloween. That That is like, I just love everything about that one. Um, they also are offering a lot of other um, cute, cute ones as well. Teresa Kogut has a book um, called Let Love Rain, and I love this main pattern. I love the brown and the blues and that saying, let love rain in your heart and home. Um, again, love to hang that on my wall um, as a reminder. And the book does include some other patterns as well. Um, and she also has this book called Flurry, which is Christmas designs. And I think this one is awesome that um, has uh, the the peace on earth snowman looking up at the stars in the sky i think he's just so sweet and there's a lot of other adorable christmas winter themed patterns in this book all right now it's officially getting dark um my soundtrack is a ice cream truck the next block over i don't know if you can hear it it's the weirdest thing i can't figure out where this ice cream truck drives because i hear it all the time and um I live in a, a, a pretty nice neighborhood, but behind our fence in the backyard is literally a, a large field that belongs to this little church down the road. And then there is like a dirt road and some trailers back there. And then there's like a major highway. So like I can't, like a major road, you know? And then on the other side of that are train tracks. And then on the other side of that is another field. So I don't know where this ice, he doesn't come down our street and I don't know where he's driving. It's really weird. It's probably like some ghost ice cream truck that like, you know, I don't know, whatever. Hey, I need to go at this point because it's dark now and the mosquitoes are getting me. Thank you guys for watching this with me for the, my favorite designs. I hope you found something that you would want to stitch and add to your stash that you will put into your cart and be enabled by. Thanks for spending the evening with me or my evening with me. Um, and I look forward to seeing you guys again real soon. Happy stitching. <laughs> There's a horn. Bye. <laughs>